Hi children, so very good morning, have a nice day. So in the last section we have seen that the laws of chemical combinations. Let's continue with the laws of chemical combination. We learned about the law of conservation of mass, law of definite proportion and law of multiple proportion. I hope you learn these laws. So today we are going to discuss about the Galu cycle of gaseous volumes or yellow cycle of mining volumes and Avogadro law or Avogadro hypothesis. Let's start with the yellow cycle of uh, gaseous volume. Joseph Louis uh, Gay-Lussac proposed that he study the gaseous reactions. He studied the gaseous reaction and proposed the law when gases combines to form gaseous products. Remember that when gases combines to form gaseous products. A simple ratio is exist between uh, volumes of reactants and the product. Once again, when gases combines to form gaseous product, a simple whole number ratio exists or a simple ratio exists between volumes of reactants and the products at a constant temperature and a pressure. Okay, once again, when gases combines to form gaseous products, a simple ratio exists between volumes of reactants and products at a constant temperature and pressure. Let's discuss with uh, some examples. Gay-Lussac law, the fourth law is Gay-Lussac's law of gaseous volumes. Gaseous volumes. Let's consider hydrogen. Hydrogen gas combines with chlorine gas. That gives two hydrochloric acid or two hydrogen chloride. Two hydrogen chloride. So here the volume of hydrogen is one. The molar volume of hydrogen is one. And that of chlorine is one. That of hydrogen chloride is two. So volume ratio is volume ratio of Reactants and products. Reactants and products. Reactants can be written as RCTS. <coughs> Sorry. Product can be written as PDTS. PDTS. Okay. So reactants and product is 1 is 2, 1 is 2, 2. Or you can write the volume ratio of hydrogen. Chlorine and HCl. Also, you can write that. Or volume ratio of hydrogen, chlorine, and HCl is equal to 1 is to 1 is to 2. A simple ratio. A simple whole number ratio. Okay. Another example. When nitrogen, nitrogen gas com combines with the hydrogen. H2 gas. Nitrogen gas combines with the hydrogen gas gives ammonia 2 NS3. Ammonia 2 NS3 molecules. Ammonia is also gas at a room temperature. At a low temperature, ammonia is exist in the liquid stage. Okay. Then uh, can you say the volume ratio of nitrogen, hydrogen, and ammonia? The volume ratio is volume ratio of volume ratio of N2, H2 and NS3 is equal to what is it? 1. 1 is 2. What is here? 3. 3. Then products 2. 
So the ratio of reactants and products is a simple ratio. The ratio of volumes of reactants and products are in a simple ratio. And remember that in some time the question is asking like this 3 H2 gas plus N2 gas gives 2 MS3. Some students memorize, some students uh, recollect this ratio in examination and that is a mistake. Now the volume ratio of reactants and product is ratio for this reaction is 3 is to 1 is to 2. 3 is to 1 is to 2. Remember this. Okay, the ratio of nitrogen, hydrogen and ammonia is 1 is to 3 is to 3. But the ratio, same reaction, same product is formed. But here 3 H2 gas plus N2 gas gives 2 NS3 gas. The ratio of volume is 3 is to 1 is to 2. Are you clear? Okay, hope you understand. Volume, uh, yellow sack, log gaseous volumes. Okay, let's conclude. Okay, when gaseous reactants, when gaseous reactants combines to form gaseous products, gaseous reactants combines to form gaseous products, a simple ratio exists between volumes of reactants and the product at a constant temperature and a pressure that is Gay-Lussac law of gaseous volumes or Gay-Lussac law of combining volumes okay then we move to the Avogadro or Avogadro hypothesis okay a mo the, mo the term molecule is coined by Avogadro the term molecule is coined by Avogadro. Avogadro law states that Avogadro law states that equal volumes of all gases. Okay, listen. Equal volumes of all gases at the same temperature and pressure contains equal number of molecules. Once again, equal volumes of all gases at the same temperature and pressure. The temperature should be same. The pressure should be same for all gases. Equal temperature and equal pressure. Contains. It, the mixture the gas contains equal number of molecules. Okay. In some textbook it is given at the same temperature and pressure equal volumes of gases contains equal number of molecules. As earlier the temperature and the pressure in between the statement. And now the temperature and pressure beginning of the statement. Both are correct, no problem. You don't worry about this. Okay. All gases all gases of equal volumes at the same temperature and pressure contains equal number of molecules. This is Avogadro law. In the textbook only the statement. But I explain a situation to understand the concept for you. Okay. I take Avogadro, Avogadro, the law is fifth law, Avogadro law, or Avogadro hypothesis. Equal volumes contains equal number of molecules. Okay, I take oxygen gas. The volume of oxygen gas is 2 liter. I kept in a 2 liter cylinder. And the temperature is 290 Kelvin. The pressure is 1 bar meter. Ok. 
ओके एक कंडीशनर ऑक्सीजन गैस इट्स कैप्ट इन ए टू लीटर वॉल्यूम सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ द गैस इज टू लीटर देन टेंपरेचर ऑफ द गैस इज 298 केल्विन दैट इज रूम टेंपरेचर 25 डिग्री सेल्सियस 25 डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द रूम टेंपरेचर एंड प्रेशर इज 1 बार लीटर देन अनदर गैस n2 i take n2 gas and also kept in 2 liter cylinder kept in 2 liter cylinder and the cylinder is at 290 kelvin and 1 barometer pressure the cylinder kept at 290 kelvin and 1 barometer pressure now according to our diagram the number of O2 molecule. The number of O2 molecule is equal to number of N2 molecule. This is our diagram. Okay. The equal volumes of gases. Equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and the same pressure. At the same temperature and pressure. Contains equal number of molecules. Equal number of molecules. And remember that if any parameters, either temperature or pressure is changed, the number of molecules are not equal to the number of molecules present in the another cylinder. Remember that. Any one of the parameter, that is temperature or pressure or volume. Okay, the temperature and pressure is changed. The number of molecules are not equal. So let's take again five liter of hydrogen gas. Five liter of hydrogen gas kept at two ninety eight kelvin under one barometer pressure. Again, five liter of uh, N2 kept at three ten Kelvin under one barometer pressure. Okay, the parameter temperature is changed. Now you understand that equal volume, equal pressure, but temperature is different. Number of molecules of number of molecules of H2 is not equal to number of molecules of N2. Here volumes are same, pressure is same, but temperature is different. So temperature and the pressure should be same. That is the base of, that is the fundamental principle of Avogadro. So Avogadro law states that once again. All gases contains equal number of sorry. All gases contains equal number of molecules having equal volume at the same temperature and pressure. But in your textbook, it is given all gases at the same temperature and pressure equal volumes contains equal number of molecules. Okay, all the gases having Same number of molecules. If the gas is kept at equal volume, equal temperature, and the pressure is equal, that's about the laws of chemical composition. So you should learn the five laws: law of conservation, law of definite proportion, law of multiple proportion, Galois cycle law, and Avogadro law. Law of conservation is the base for balancing the equation. And lastly, I forgot to. Uh, tell this law of conservation. You studied in our classes, I think. Law of conservation is the base, the fundamental principle for balancing a chemical reaction. Okay. So we move to the another concept, Dalton's atomic theory. In 1803, Dalton proposed a law of multiple proportion. And later in 1808, he proposed a theory 
based on the democrat's philosophy the greek philosopher the greek philosopher democrats coin uh, coined that or he proposed that matter is made up of tiny particles indivisible particles called uh, atomio atomio the, the word means the greek word means indivisible or indestructible tagarkan pattathu or shankar simen ne ka parasayam kattittundu tagarkan pattathu vishwasam shankar simen okay then ivada parayana ivada greek philosopher parayana matter is made up of tiny particles called atomio from that the term atom is derived who derived the term atom john dalton okay who derived the term atom john dalton from the greek word atomio which means indivisible Greek word. The word is taken from the Greek. Then, uh, in eighteen not eight, John Dalton again considered this theory, and from the laws of chemical combination, he proposed some postulates, some important points about his theory. So, John Dalton is. a father of atomic theory he was considered as a father of atomic theory let's discuss the main postulates the postulates proposed by john dalton matter is made up of tiny particles called atom which is indivisible which means indivisible matter is made up of tiny or small indivisible particles called atoms or what are atoms what are atoms matter is made up of extremely small or tiny particles called atom the word atom means indivisible that is the first postulate then second one atoms of same elements are identical in all respects and say atoms of same atom or same atom atoms of same elements atoms of same elements are identical in all respects that means their atomic mass their mass their properties physical and chemical properties are same okay so uh, dalton's atomic theory dalton's atomic theory the first postulate is based on atoms what are atoms atoms are extremely small particles which is indivisible second name is uh, identical identical properties for same atom identical property for the same atom okay they are identical in all respect their mass their physical properties all are identical so what about the third point very simple atoms of different elements are different okay atoms of different elements are different atoms of different elements are different okay adhaayidu ore pole ulla atomgalu eppolu ore swabhavam kaanikkum nanu john dalton parayathu okay malayalathil parayunnathu kuzhappilla nu thonnu atoms nu parayathal divide cheyan pattatha particles aanu onnathu point adhaan atoms are indivisible rendamathu point parayana ore atomgalukku ore swabhavam 
ഒരേപോലെയുള്ള ആറ്റങ്ങൾ എപ്പോഴും ഒരേപോലെയായിരിക്കും എന്നാണ് ജോൺ ഡാൾട്ടൺ പറഞ്ഞത് അപ്പൊ മൂന്നാമത്തെ പോയിന്റ് എന്താണ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ആറ്റംസ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ആയിരിക്കും ഡിഫറെന്റ് ആറ്റംസ് ആർ ഡിഫറെന്റ് വൈ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ആറ്റത്തിന് ഡിഫറെന്റ് മാസസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ ഡിഫറെന്റ് മാസസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഡിഫറെന്റ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഇപ്പൊ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഹൈഡ്രജൻ ഹൈഡ്രജൻ ഗ്യാസ് ലൈറ്റ് ആണ് ലൈറ്റ് വെയ്റ്റഡ് ഗ്യാസ് ആണ് ഓക്സിജൻ അല്പം കൂടി വെയിറ്റ് ഉള്ളതാണ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഓരോ ആറ്റത്തിനും ഓരോരോ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഡിഫറെന്റ് ആറ്റംസ് ആവ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ഫോർത്ത് പോയിന്റ് പറയാണ് ആറ്റംസ് കമ്പൈൻസ് ടു ഫോം മോളിക്യൂൾസ് ഓർ കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് ഓർ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് ആർ ഫോംഡ് ബൈ കോമ്പിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് ആറ്റംസ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് ആർ ഫോംഡ് ബൈ കോമ്പിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് ആറ്റംസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി എ ഫിക്സഡ് റേഷ്യോ ഇറ്റ് മസ്റ്റ് ബി എ ഫിക്സഡ് റേഷ്യോ എന്താണ് മീനിങ് ആറ്റംസ് കമ്പൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടാണ് കോമ്പൗണ്ടുകൾ ഫോം ചെയ്യുന്നത് അങ്ങനെ ആറ്റംസ് കമ്പൈൻ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ആറ്റംസ് കമ്പൈൻ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഒരു സിമ്പിൾ റേഷ്യോ അവിടെ എക്സിസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടാവും ധാരാളം പറയുന്നത് ലോ ഡെഫിനറ്റീവ് പ്രൊപ്പോർഷൻ ലോ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ പ്രൊപ്പോർഷൻസ് എല്ലാം നമ്മൾ കണ്ടതാണ് ആറ്റംസ് കമ്പൈൻ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഒരു മാസ് പ്രൊപ്പോർഷൻ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ അപ്പോ simple ratio atoms combines to form compounds and they combined in a simple ratio a simple ratio exists between atoms for example water h2 a simple ratio 1 2 hydrogen and 1 oxygen mass ratio is 1 is to 8 mass ratio is 1 is to 8 that is we have seen that 2 is to 16 1 is to 8 okay but the atoms ratio two are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen another one carbon dioxide the mass ratio is 3 is to 8 okay last we have seen that last section 12 is to 32 that is 3 is to simple ratio of mass and what is the atom ratio atom ratio is 1 is to 2 a simple ratio another is ammonia nh3 ammonia one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of hydrogen are you clear so the ratio is simple the mass also simple 14 is to 3 14 is to 3 a simple ratio and finally he concluded that atom can neither be created nor be destroyed atoms neither be created nor be destroyed atomale nirmikkuvano nashikkuvano sadhyamalla from where he came these concepts from law of conservation of mass matter can neither be created nor be destroyed so these are the five fundamental points five post plates of atomic theory and how uh, the dalton's atomic theory has some drawbacks okay it has some drawbacks okay we will discuss a, a drawback uh, in a short time the first drawback is uh, from jj thompson and goldstein in 1896 okay this is a history about the science in 1896 jj thompson found the electrons i think you heard about the jj thompson and the electrons in 1896 96 98 uh, is a time in 1896 jj thompson found the electrons after that goldstein found the proton then in 1932 okay after a long gap 1932 james stanley found the neutrons all these are in the atom so atoms are not the extremely small particles atoms are divided 
act is divided into the fundamental subatomic particles electrons protons neutron etc so the first point is wrong the first point some some corrections some drawback atoms are indivisible it is not correct atom can be divided into electron proton neutron etc many subatomic particles inside the atom and the second point second point is about the atoms of same elements are identical but after discovering the isotopes what are isotopes atoms of same element with different mass okay i think you know about the isotope of hydrogen protium deuterium and tritium the three isotopes of hydrogen okay so after discovering the isotope same atoms are different masses they are not identical in respect another is carbon carbon 12 carbon 13 carbon 14 same atom but different properties okay so the second point has some drawbacks some demerits third point atoms of different elements are different in all respects different atoms are different aanu maana john dalton parayad but after the discovery of isobars what are isobars atoms of different element having same mass Okay, atoms of different elements have same mass. For example, carbon and nitrogen. The isotope of carbon fourteen, six fourteen. Then nitrogen is seven fourteen. The mass of nitrogen is fourteen. Okay, mass of carbon is fourteen. Four isotopes. So different atom, but same mass number. So atoms of different element are different is not only correct for all cases in some cases it is correct and the fourth point what about the fourth point atoms combine in a simple ratio atoms combine in a simple ratio then uh, some heavier molecules hemoglobin carbohydrates then uh, fatty acids okay these are big molecules some bigger molecules in that there is no simple ratio for example uh, sucrose table sugar c12 h22 o11 so not a simple ratio then another is uh, an fatty acid present in the palm oil okay c18 h36 O two. They are not combined in a simple ratio. Okay, so the fourth point is proposed by John Dalton has some drawbacks. And finally, what is the last point of John Dalton? Action can neither be created nor be destroyed. Atom can neither be created nor be destroyed. Later, in the laboratory, atoms can be synthesized. Ninety-two elements are naturally occurring out of one hundred and eighteen. This is the total number of elements till now. Only that ninety-two are natural. Okay, ninety-two elements are natural. Rest of the elements are synthesized in the laboratory. It is discovered by a scientist. The first element is technetium in 1942 in Italy. 1942 in Italy, the first artificial metal is discovered, technetium. Okay, technetium. So the last point also has some drawbacks. Atom can neither be created nor be destroyed. Now, atom can be synthesized, can be destroyed. Nuclear fission reaction. As I uh, give some idea about the fission reaction as earlier. Uh, bigger molecules, 
bigger nucleus large nucleus decomposes into smaller atoms smaller nuclei that is nuclear fusion so atom can be divided atom can be synthesized atom can be um, prepared so these are the drawbacks anyway john dalton is considered the father of atomic theory if you understand about the uh, dalton's theory i think in the in your book uh, dalton's atomic theory is given drawback is you just understand that so all these things electrons protons neutrons isotopes isobars all these things we discuss later in the second unit structure of atoms